approaching the rendezvous point outside Atari Space. Helm, bring us out of warp. Dropping to impulse. Ionic interference surging, Captain. Shield integrity holding. We can take it. We are at the correct coordinates to meet the shuttle. Commander Rydeck, find us our diplomat, if you will. Aye, Captain. Let's reduce the noise. Filter out environmental signals. I can manually tune what's left for Federation signal types. I've located the shuttle. Open in comms. On screen. Shuttle to Resolute. Shuttle to Resolute. Debris field. Lost maneuvering. Losing. I can't get it any clearer. It won't get a transporter lock. It's just not happening. Power up the tractor beam. We'll pull them directly into the docking bay. Diaz, you good to run the tractor emitter? Yes, sir. Come on, Diaz. First thing, lock onto the shuttle and stabilize the rotation. Maneuvering thrusters bearing 53 Mark 17, 200 meters on an intercept course. Maneuvering. Got it. Whoa! Someone's working hard on the bridge. Shuttlecraft on board. Good job. We're on our way down to meet them. Terra firma, so to speak. Ambassador Spock? Captain, we'll be right down to meet you, sir. In that case, I will wait for him here. Wow. 
Let me be the first to say, welcome to the Resolute, Ambassador. Thank you, Petty Officer... Carter? Carter Diaz, sir. I am pleased to meet you, Petty Officer Carter Diaz. It appears I have you to thank for my safe arrival. Your assistance arrived not a moment too soon, if I may say so. All in a day's work, Ambassador. This is what I'm here for. Quite dutifully. We thought we were prepared for our arrival in Hotari space, but it is evident my craft was not sufficiently robust for such intense ionic activity. The storm has been pretty intense. There was an element that was most unusual. Before you came to our aid, our maneuvering thrusters and impulse engines were rendered inoperable. So we attempted a short traversal at warp speed, only to find that we could not achieve warp at all. Even though our diagnostics computer showed no faults or anomalies. What do you make of that? When all indications say that warp speed is possible, but in practice, we find it is not. Well, this storm is one of the strangest phenomena we've ever encountered. It's disrupted other systems, and who knows what it might do to a warp drive. Yes, it would seem further investigation is called for. We'll take readings, run some additional diagnostic checks, and we'll get to the bottom of this. Quite logical, Petty Officer Diaz. Thank you. Ambassador Spock. Excuse me. I'm honored to have you aboard. I'd like to get right to it. We're already behind. 